Another increase affecting our nation, gas prices. With a single barrel of oil now trading above $100, consumers could see gas at $4 a gallon very soon. Cronkite News reporter Bradford Dorak joins us live to explain what this means for your wallet at the pump. Filling up has gotten more expensive every day, and although the current prices are still below the record set back in 2008, the conflict in the Middle East is sparking fears that those record rates could return very soon. Every time Middle East uprising takes place, one thing we can be pretty sure of, gas prices will go up, and they've gone up a lot, very quickly. Every time I gas it up and fill it up, I can feel the pain of the amount. It now costs nearly $100 for Gina Maria Scarpa to fill up her Hummer, and she's not alone. My gas budget's doubled in the past year. It's pretty high, but I mean, I don't have another choice. Oil prices have risen so quickly, but why? Unrest in an important oil producing region is partially to blame. What's really driving the markets currently is the, is the Middle East, not just Libya, but also um, um, some unrest that has been spreading to some other Middle East countries. Gas has been getting more expensive for the better part of the year and rose over 20 cents a gallon since last week alone. For the first time since 2008, oil traded above $100 a barrel and that trickles down to everyone. Drivers are definitely definitely feeling it in their wallets. I mean, if you look at where prices are headed and what we've seen just in the last couple of days alone. Many Valley drivers want to know if prices have reached the top. Local Chevron owner John Afsher doesn't think so. He says $4 a gallon could be here in a matter of weeks. Yeah, by April it's going to be might be $4. Something Phoenix drivers just have to deal with. Probably max out my gas card or my credit card. We certainly can expect $350 and, a, and possibly above for the duration of the summer. So it might be a long summer for people who are planning those trips or, or you know, who have to fill up their vehicles. Current gas prices are the highest they've been in years. I talked to many Phoenix drivers who said there's nothing they can do about it. They just have to accept these high prices. Live in downtown Phoenix, Bradford Warwick, Cronkite News.